What's up, YouTube? My name's Dan, and welcome to my channel, Dan Demand Gaming, where I suck at playing video games so that you don't have to. This is my Seven Days to Die Guns Only series. The last episode will be linked in the description below. We're on day 11. Let's get this episode started. Here we are, 3.20 in the morning, day 11. Um, I'm already hearing zombies are running around outside, so I'm wondering what's going on there. Oh, damn, they're already flooding me. What's going on? I'm getting an extra little horde. This is the uh, second time this has happened to me. I uh, put out of the game at like 2 o'clock in the morning on horde night. And then I wake up to this. So isn't this just lovely? Getting those headshots though right away. Like I said, I can't complain. This is XP for me. And they're uh, all piling up right underneath this window. Just like in the last video. Uh, I'll take it. It makes killing these zombies so easy. Popped his head. They do not like that gas pump. I don't know what their issue is with it. And they finally broke it. Luckily with no explosion. Um, I think what they're trying to do is use that pole to like get up to get to my level. It's not really going to work for them because then they'd have to, you know, get from that pole to me, which uh, it's quite a long jump. I don't think they'll make it. And it is officially 4 a.m. Uh, I got a bunch of zombies to clear out still, too. Thinking about going right on in there so I can get face to face with them. Let's do that. Let's uh, let's see if I can handle this. Let's go down in. All right, so there's that spider zombie. Blow him away. Blow her away real quick. Hanging out up on this ladder. They can't even get to me. There's a ton of them in here, it sounds like. Oh my god, he was right in my face. There's that one down. Oh, they're coming right in now. He dropped the loot bag for me, that's awesome. I don't know what that guy was doing. Was beating up the wall, I was right here, buddy. Two for one, was that two for one? That was a two for one. Oh, he snuck up on me. I didn't even see him there. Oh shit, no, no, load. Woo! Man, I'm just running through this shotgun ammo. Take care of him. And I hope that's all of them. I think that's all of them on the inside. No, it's not. There's still a few in here. Man, this is crazy. This is crazy. They hit me with zombies right away. But like I said, I'll take it. I'll take you the XP. And how are my walls doing from the last horde? And they have hurt me pretty good in this episode so far. But I am okay. I'm hearing one more. Oh my god. Gonna use this med kit real quick. Get that shotgun out and blow him away. Look around, see how my base is doing. They destroyed all the uh, spikes out here, which no big deal. Eventually with the build that I'm going to be doing, these spikes won't be useful at all anyways. Um, yeah, they left all my uh, concrete walls alone for the most part. As you can see over here is beat up a little bit. They cleared out this window really good for me. Like I was saying in one of my last episodes, I uh, like to make the zombies do the work. All right, so now that horde's done, I have two perk points to use. I'm going to go right into that. I think right away I'm going to unlock the Yeah Science because I can finally make that chemistry bench that I'm going to be needing to make a gunpowder here soon. I think I'm going to go with the penetrator. So if they're in like a line, I can shoot a bunch of them all at once. So I'll, I'll pick Piercer right away. All right, so that chemistry station is done being crafted. I'm not exactly sure where to put it. Um, I'm going to leave over here open. I'm thinking my bed eventually is going to go over there. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll move my bed right now and I'll set it right there, right on the side. So she can wake up and see what's going on right here. Let's find a place to put that chemistry station down. Um, I can't put it right there. I'm thinking honestly anyways, that's where I'm going to kind of cut the walls off to. I'm thinking ultimately what's going to happen is the wall is going to come out to about here. And then go down to about where this is. And then go all the way down there. So next we'll have some walls coming off of this and coming down this way and going all the way around. All right, so now that we're all prepared, I think what I'm going to do, like I said, is go out and get some stone. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for another node with some stone around it. So what I can do is I can be mining two things at once rather than just getting stone, coming back with it, going out, getting iron, coming back with it. Um, I'm not sure the two first things I'm going to go for. I'm thinking the two first things I'm going to go for are lead and stone. So I need to find myself a lead node. All right, so here we are. I found myself a lead node. Uh, there's a stone node right around the corner here. So I think what I'll do is I'll hop in between the two of them. I'm going to collect a lot of stone and a lot of lead right now. They really got to be watching my back while I'm mining here. I'm hearing a zombie somewhere around me. There he is. Say, so I know you were there, buddy. You make too much noise. Oh, of course I missed. I'm checking my six, make sure there's no other zombies around. Bam, your head's gone, bud. I think there's some uh, zombies beating their way out of that POI right there, but I, I should be fine. And this is why I'm saying I really need a steel pickaxe. Um, I've dug a little bit, as you can see. Not very much, but I'm still only at 500 lead. If I had a steel pickaxe, I'd be uh, a lot further in this process right now, believe me. 
Um, I'm kind of sick of hearing those zombies beat up stuff around me. So I think we're gonna hop in this POI right here real quick and uh, kill some zombies, take care of the issue. Yeah, that is definitely where I was hearing the zombies from. I'll pin bust that door open a little bit and I'll stand here and just wait. Another one right behind him. Take them out real quick, no big deal. Got a cheerleader there, she's going down. Popped his head, looked right at me, right in the face. I think this is that adult film uh, theater place, so yeah, I don't want to spend too much time in here. Hanging out with these pervs. Alright, so I dealt with that problem for the most part. It's uh, back to getting to mining. Oh, they beat, the, they beat right through here. They beat right through this brick wall right here. I'm going to wait for that guy to get back up, kill him real quick, and get back to mining. All right, so I'm going to take care of this guy here real quick. And I think I'm done mining lead for the moment. Uh, as you guys can see, I have almost a thousand lead. I got a little bit of stone going too. But I think what I'm going to do now is switch over to that stone note I was telling you guys about. All right, so I found a coal note here too. So, so far, I have lead right here. I got coal right here. I got stone right here. So I definitely think what I'm going to do is mark this right on my map. So let's pull that open right now. Uh, this is going to be a really exciting episode. Most of this episode, I'm going to be mining something. Load 16 tons, what do you get? Now the day older and deeper in debt Said Peter don't call me cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store Sorry about that, I'll make sure to take note to uh Stick to making YouTube videos, not to singing Alright, so I've done a pretty good number on that boulder um, I'm thinking it's about time that I run back to base Get the uh, lead smelted down Get the uh, stone melt smelted down And get it making uh, concrete for me I'm gonna need a lot of concrete here soon I definitely attracted some zombies around. As you saw, I just killed that one over there. Now there's another guy right here, so let's blow him away real quick. All right, so I'm back. I ate some food. I'm all healed up. Um, I'm going to get some of that stone brewing up right now. So I got that stone in there brewing up. Now what I'm going to do, get myself that lead brewing up. Let's turn that right on. I'm going to throw all this clay soil right in there, just so I don't ever have to worry about clay soil for my lead again. And uh, now I just wait for the stone to brew down to cement. Let's see what I can make for cement right now. So 38, not much. Um... I noticed as I was doing this, I have like nothing in the way of crushed sand. I only have 211, so I'm thinking it's about time that I go out and get that too. And as I've said before, luckily it is all right here. I don't even have to go very far. All right, and so I've gathered a ton of the crushed sand, as you can see. I'm going to go back up and see where I'm at with cement right now. All right, so I can craft 28 more cement. I'll take what I have right now. I got that 40 right there. Got a bunch of stone and crushed sand in my pocket. I'll make all the concrete mix I can right now. I got 40 more. It's not very much, but it's going to start adding up here real soon once all that uh, stone is melted down. I made some gunpowder, too. I had nothing for niter powder, pretty much. Uh, so I got 15 gunpowder going on right there. Uh, it's not really a lot. I got the stone brewing here. I got my lead brewing right here. I got my iron brewing right here. I'm thinking right now what I'm going to do is uh, take this time to go loot somewhere. And so it's right here. We uh, got a little into it already anyways. So why don't we... Uh, Help ourselves on into this adult uh, movie theater. Let's see what we can find right here. I found a safe immediately. As usual, I don't have any lock picks on me. Oh, I'm not going to spend my time busting into that with my iron pickaxe. If I had a steel pickaxe, maybe, or an auger. But I'm not wasting my time with an iron pickaxe. I'll be here for a minute. I would be going through the trash cans normally, but uh, in here, I don't even want to know what's in those trash cans. Oh, he was right in my face when I turned around that corner. Or he can hit me. I'll shoot him real quick. He's right in my face. Get him all he's down. What's going on? I just glitched. <laughs> Did anybody? <laughs> I just glitched up on top of that. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I've made my way to the top floor. I'm pretty sure that's where the uh, crates are going to be. So let's see what I can find up here. And there's the ladder up top. Let's see what's up there. I feel like the boxes are going to be somewhere up here. They got some skylights into the theater. Yeah, I'm not seeing the boxes anywhere around, actually. It's been a big waste of time. We got a zombie over here. I'll take care of him real quick. Just uh, hanging out on top of the porn theater. No big deal. NBD. So I am not finding any loot boxes. I'm thinking I'm just going to work my way out of here. It's kind of a bust for a uh, POI in my opinion. And I am running desperately low on my shotgun ammo. So I'm going to uh, start keeping an eye out for that. Switch to my handgun. I actually start using that more often. Oh, and she came right up on me. I didn't even see that. Too busy uh, trying to bust through, and she busted right up on here. All right, I should have stuck right with the mining. Uh, this place was definitely a... Well, not complete bust. I did find a bookcase. It was mostly a, mostly a bust. I found the uh, motorcycle handlebar schematic. I'm probably going to unlock that anyways through the, uh, through the perk, so I'll, I'll use it, though. That'll do pig challenge. What is that going to have me do? So we'll take that. 
We just need to kill some boars for that. That's an easy quest. We're definitely going to take that one. All right, so that POI was kind of a bust. Uh, I'm thinking what I'm going to do right now is come into this passing gas up here. This one shouldn't take me too long anyway, so let's uh, bust right on in. Yeah, we got a guy standing right there waiting for me. I'm going to uh, sneak attack him too, get the headshot damage. There we go. Look at the damage I did on him. Here are more zombies around back here. Take care of these zombies first and uh, get looting. Might as well grab that cement. That cement will be helpful to me. See if there's anything in this destroyed workbench. Advanced bellows. That is an awesome find. I will take that. This other stuff, completely useless pretty much. We got a little door going down here. Where does this lead to? Did I find something here? I want to check it out, but it's a little late. Yeah, let's check it out. What's going on? We got another little bunker here. It looks like we had another little bunker here. So, uh, it was a good find. I stumbled upon this. Told myself to go on the passing gas. Happy that I did tell myself to go on the passing gas. I found a pretty cool little bunker down here. It's not as nice as the other bunker I found, but... It doesn't have to be the nicest bunker. It just has to be a bunker. It does the trick. Look at that find. A steel chest armor. I'll take that. I think this leg armor is better than the one I have, too. Either way, all this stuff is really useful other than the uh, crossbow and the uh, bolts. And I've crossed my fingers for it so many times. I'm hoping this one will be it. Let's hope for that steel pickaxe, finally. And nothing. I got 20 rebar frames, though, and I got a better claw hammer. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's, it's something useful. So yeah, I'm happy I uh, came down here and checked this out. I wasn't expecting to find a little bunker down here. That's a pretty cool find in my opinion. And it is getting late. I really need to uh, clear this real quick. See what's going on up in here. And uh, start working on getting more uh, getting more lead. Getting more, uh, getting more some type of ore. I need to be mining a lot right now. I need more crushed sand actually. And I need more, uh, more stone for sure. All that stuff should be smelted down by now. All right, and so I'm leaving that a uh, passing gas. There wasn't anything really useful there for me. I'm going to uh, work my way right back to my base and probably just dig up a bunch more uh, crushed sand and stone for the night. All right, and so I think I'm going to use that level up that I have right now. I'm thinking I'm going to go right into Miner 69er. Uh, basically, I'll just mine things a little bit faster, and I'm going to be doing that a lot right now. So that'll be really useful. It is officially 10 p.m. I'm going to uh, just collect a little bit more and get, get up there and craft myself some more cement, craft myself some more um, bullet tips. All right, so I'm back up here. I'm going to do first things first. I'm going to see where I'm at with my lead. All my lead is uh, smelted down. So let's see what I can make for bullet tips. I can make 483 bullet tips. I'm going to do about half of that, and then the other half is going to be buckshot. So what's half of 400? Half of 400 is 200. We'll just say 241. We'll go with that for the bullet tips. And then with the buckshot, we will do the rest of them as buckshot. So I have all that crafting. It'll be about five minutes till my bullet tips and all my uh, buckshot is done. So we'll go over here to my stone. I got a little bit still smelting up. We'll make as much cement as we can. I got a bunch of cement coming my way. Gathered a bunch of stone, obviously, too, while I was digging. So I'm just going to put the other half right in there. Save this other half for um, to make the actual concrete mix. So there you have it. I have about 250 concrete mix being made up right now. Um... I think that's where I'm going to call the episode. It's been a little uh, little bit of an uneventful episode. I got a lot of mining to do in the next couple of days. But soon here, I will be building my house up on top of here. Soon here, I will be building my horde base. Um, if you guys like the video, leave me a comment. Like the video. Subscribe for more content like this every Monday and Friday. And I will uh, see you guys in the next video.